Traders, if you've spent any time at all here at the ProTrader Network, you've heard me say at least a thousand times that 95% of a winning trade takes place before we ever enter the market. And by that I mean getting prepared before ever placing a trade. In this video, we'll touch on just what that means and what's required to put you in attack mode instead of being on the defensive. Professional and successful traders know that being prepared puts you in a position to win before you ever place the trade. Here are a few questions you're going to need to ask yourself before putting your capital at risk. Do you have a thorough pre-trade routine that puts you in a trading mindset and prepares you to take action? Does your pre-trading routine contain all of the elements for you to be able to act without hesitation? If not, what is missing? What are you lacking that is preventing you from following your rules? Typically, it's several of the things on this list that are the downfall of new and struggling traders. You have no trade plan. You're using arbitrary events in the market. You have no repeatable processes to quantify and determine whether or not you've really got a consistent valid signal. You have no backtesting data. You have nothing to prove whether the rules you're applying to the market have a positive expectancy. Why would you trade a trading system that you know is going to lose? You need to accumulate that data to show that if you do follow those rules, the outcome over time will be profitable. Maybe you have too many pairs in your portfolio. Information overload is a huge problem for new and struggling traders. Reduce your portfolio to just one or two pairs and don't add any more until you can be consistently profitable. And along the lines of too much information, too many indicators. You've got 17 indicators on your chart and you haven't prioritized their importance. Another problem with too many indicators is redundancy. You've got four oscillators, three moving averages, 17 different pivots. You cannot possibly train your reticular activating system to recognize a confluence of that many indicators. And as a result, you'll probably never take a trade. It takes a tremendous amount of time for 17 different indicators to line up and have confluence. So your excuse not to take a trade is, my 17 indicators didn't give me a valid signal. Well, they never will. And here are the big ones, fear, greed, and anxiety. Chances are you're letting emotions rule your decision making. And when you're in a fragile emotional state, you become reactive and not deliberate. You'll see a news announcement and you'll see these huge candles immediately following that announcement and you'll jump into the market with a huge spread before the market settles down and find yourself on the wrong side of that high impact news announcement. And then what do you do? You watch your trade draw down and you move your stops hoping that the market will eventually turn around. That's defensive trading. That's trying to defend a mistake trying to defend not following your rules, and trying to defend being arbitrary. If you're getting prepared before you ever place the trade, you're in attack mode. You won't be at the mercy of the market, you'll have confidence, you'll follow your rules and your plan, and you know the probability before you ever place the trade because you have backtesting data. You're going to need a thorough pre-trade checklist. You're going to need a trade plan and rule set based on quantifiable data that has been thoroughly backtested and that you know verbatim. You know your rules, you know your trading system, you know your indicator settings, you've done the repetitions, you've done the demo trading, and you can fire off a trade with complete confidence because you have all that ammunition at your disposal. I always like to review my trading goals. I have a set amount of income I like to make per year. I like to look at my monthly and quarterly results, and I like to make sure I'm on track to attain those goals. Before I sit down to trade, I clear my mind of all preoccupations and anxiety. I shut the door. I turn off the phone. I make sure there are no distractions and that I'm not going to be interrupted during my trading sessions. Once I've cleared my mind of all distractions, I will perform my top-down analysis or pre-signal analysis looking at historical price action for potential trade setups. I'll qualify those setups, look for those that have the highest probability, and then wait for a valid signal. 
One of our sayings here at the Pro Trader Network is repetition is the mother of skill, and that's why I do the same thing every day before each session and before entering the market. It's important to have a focused, relaxed trading state, and you need to know what it feels like to be ready to attack. And that's when you've done all this preparatory work and all you're waiting for is a valid signal. Make sure you review your trading plan, your indicator settings and platform settings each trading session. We're dealing with software, we're dealing with technology. Oftentimes there are code artifacts left in some of these indicators, especially with these new platform upgrades happening so rapidly. It's very important that you turn off your charts and reset them every time you begin to trade. I like to put notes and fibs and trend lines on my charts traders as memory joggers for potential trade setups. But if those aren't relevant to the current trading session, I make sure that I clear all those off my charts. I don't want to be distracted. I want to look at current relevant price action. I can't emphasize this enough, traders. You need to know which news is on the calendar and be aware of it each day. High impact news. And when any of the financial heads of state, I call them, are speaking, Draghi for the European Central Bank or Yellen, now the Fed chairman of the U.S., Anytime one of these officials from a global institution is talking, it can move the markets dramatically. So you're going to want to be aware of that. Most of the things we just described are actually very simple and easy to perform. The difficulty comes in having the discipline to do them every day. Traders, it's no secret that by committing to a solid pre-trade routine and getting and being prepared before you enter the market, will dramatically increase your success as a trader. Great to have you back here at the Pro Trader Network. As always, let's stay focused, follow our rules, and I'll see you next time.